Today on our 2014 Ram 2500, we're going to be installing the Vision X LED lighting kit for truck beds. This is the four foot long model, part number is HIL-TRUCK4W, also available in a three foot length is part number HIL-TRUCK3W. We're also going to be using the Pilot LED micro push button toggle switch, part number on this is PL-SW28B. As you can see, our little blue light's on on our switch here. That's going to indicate that we've got power to our light. So just give it a press. As you can see, lights up nicely. Here you can see that we've thrown in a few items. We've got a bucket, a box, and a, just a can of wipes there. That's with our light off. Once we turn our light on, you actually see it really lights up the bed of the truck. And it's going to help us identify different things in there when we can't see them. Now when we receive our bed light kit, we're going to have, of course, our four foot LED bed light. It's going to have about eight or nine foot of power wire and negative wire on it. Uh, that way you can get to many different locations to make your connection. We're going to have a couple splicers, a couple blades. We're going to send us a few zip ties and also six sticky sided Connectors, those zip ties are made to run right through there. You can wrap it around the light and give it some additional support. A few extra things that we're going to have are a couple of small self-tapping screws. We're going to use those to go right here through the end and make our connections. And then we've also got a couple of heat shrink butt connectors, wire cutters, and a crimping tool. Now we're going to decide where we want to mount our light. Of course we want it to be on the side rail of the truck here, we've got a pretty good spot picked out right here underneath this rail. It's kind of going to offer us a little bit of protection, but you can decide where you want it mounted. Just kind of want to get everything squared up. Take just a second there to mark our whole location. All right, that'll give me a good point for reference there. And now let me mark the one in the front. All right, now that we've got a couple little marks there, we're going to use a couple of self-tapping screws. We'll go right in through the hole there and mount it right to the bed of the truck. Now we're going to take our wire and run it through whatever location we can. As you see, we've kind of got that rail there that we're going to use, but you can use any existing hole that's in the bed of your truck or even make your own. Now, our customer today requested that we actually hide our connectors in behind this panel, and we're going to run the power wire right down through this tube, which runs down through an existing hole. We're also going to be using the Pilot toggle switch, which is a small micro LED. It's going to come on when we've got power supplied to it. Real easy push button operation. As you can see here on the rear, we've got some double sided tape. It's going to have our cutoff power wire and also our ground wire. Now once we've supplied power to it, we'll show you how that light up looks. Now with our wiring up in place here, I'm just going to pull back the length I need and we'll start getting it wired up. Now one wire is going to have a white stripe running down it, one wire is solid black. So just keep in mind which one you're using for power, which one you're using as ground. It doesn't matter one way or another. We'll just strip off our wire ends, give them a twist. As you can see our switch has a nice long lead on it. So you just cut it, trim it to whatever length you need. Now let's just trim back our wire. Now when we hook up our switch, we'll want either the red 
or the white to be hooked up to the power source going to our light. We'll want the other end to be hooked into the wire that runs down to connect to our 12 volt power source. The black one, we're gonna connect that with our other ground wire for our light that's gonna be heading down to our ground location. We'll start by putting a heat shrink butt connector on the switch's wire side. And we can crimp it down. Then we'll connect the other side to the light bar's power wire, which as I mentioned before, it can be either one of the two black wires. Then we'll crimp it down as well. We're now gonna take the light bar black wire and the switch's black wire, we're gonna twist them together. This is gonna form a common ground point. We'll place these wires into the end of a butt connector, crimp it down. And to the other end, we'll add the wire that we're gonna to run to the underneath and ultimately ground out to the car's frame. Then we'll add another butt connector to the wire that is run below the car that we're gonna to connect to the power. We'll add the red wire from the light switch to the end of this connector. After we've got all these connections made and crimped down, we'll use a heat gun to heat up the connections and shrink them down. Now if you don't have a heat gun to use at home, a lighter will work just as well. Don't get it too close though, it might put a little black carbon kind of build up on it. All right, now we can just take a little bit of a electrical tape and we're gonna clean this look up a little bit. All right, now we've got that sealed up with our heat shrink butt connectors, but also a nice layer of tape around there to give us a little extra protection. Now we can reposition our bracket that was here. And we'll clean off a small surface here to mount our switch. As you can see, we've got our wires tucked away and we're ready to wire it up. Now we'll just take our wire and as the customer requested, we're going to run it right through the drain tube here. But as we said before, any standard or pre-drilled hole or hole you want to drill in the bed is going to work fine. Now we've raised the truck up so we can get a good look underneath it. As you can see, I've got the tag into my wire. And what I'm gonna do is just kinda run it along right with this factory wire. And I'll zip tie it to it in a few locations along the way, just to get over to our power source. I'll go right up over the frame rail here. You'll see we just reach up in there and reach in there and we can just pull it on down. We're going to leave ourselves some so we can fire, follow that wire pretty closely. And now we're going to splice right into our harness that runs back to our trailer wiring. That way we can get both our ground and our power. We've isolated our red wire here as our power wire. It's going to give us a constant 12 volt power source, so we're going to splice that and run our power right into it. With our power wire spliced back, we'll kind of spin our red and black together there, our power wire and our other one, and 
put it in the crimp and crimp it down as well. All right, now that connection made, it's good and tight. We're just gonna wrap this up with some electrical tape and clean up our look. I would just use a heat gun and shrink these down as well. All right, now that connection made, it's good and tight. We're just gonna wrap this up with some electrical tape and clean up our look. Now I'm just gonna kinda tuck my wires up here and I wanna get them kinda put in place. We're just gonna get a few zip ties, run it right up with our wire there. Now that we've got that secured, let's get our ground wire hooked up. Now for our ground wire, we're gonna go right to the frame. We've got just a small ring terminal here that we're gonna use. Strip back our wire just like before, give it a good twist. All right, with a good connection there, we're gonna put some tape on it too. Now with that sealed up, we'll use a self-tapping screw to secure it to our frame. Now we'll just go through and trim off the tag end on our zip ties here. Push in any connectors we remove. Now in your kit we had discussed the small black pads that the zip ties are supposed to run through. Now what these are designed to do is you'll pull that tape off the back. You can stick them in and behind the light just like that, and then bring them around and tighten that down to hold it firmly up against the bed of your truck. Now the customer that we've got today didn't want these installed, so we're gonna be leaving them off, but you do have six of those, so you can get six good locations all the way along the light to hold it in place for you. With everything cleaned up, that will complete today's look at the Vision X LED lighting kit for truck beds, part number HIL-TRUCK4W on our 2014 Ram 2500.